Writers, last night I was studying your writing, and you know how there are some stories that kind of put you to sleep, and there are other stories that you just want to keep on reading? Well, your stories were ones that I wanted to just keep on reading. You had such interesting characters, and I could see how you guys were using the qualities of good narrative writing in your work, and I know that you're still using that to keep pushing yourselves and meeting new goals. I was also especially pleased that you guys had your characters speaking in your story. You didn't just say, she was afraid, but instead you would write things like, Jill looked up at her mother and said, I'm afraid of thunder. In fact, right now, what I want you to do is what, you take out your draft and find a spot in your draft where you have your characters talking or a place where you could get your characters talking. So right now, search through your draft and put your finger on that spot. Go ahead. And you might want to go to the heart of your story, guys, because that's a place where you know you wrote a lot with dialogue to stretch out the story. Okay. You might be finding a spot where you could have dialogue too. Okay, Okay, you can look at a spot where you could have dialogue. Okay, fantastic. So writers, you guys are now gonna need your conch shell, okay? So get your conch shell ready, right? Ready on the side. Because you're gonna read that whole part right now into your conch shell like actors on Broadway. <laughs> You're gonna bring that part of your story to life in your conch shell. But remember, only you should be able to hear yourself. Your neighbor shouldn't be able to hear you. So right now, I wanna see everyone's conch shell ready and read that part of your story like actors on Broadway. Okay, make sure you're breathing life into it. Really act it out. Look at the words on your page, okay? Do it like an actor. Reread it again. Okay, writers. That was great. I could hear you guys were working like actors there. So writers, now that I know that you guys all have dialogue, I was thinking, what's the new work we could do? Well, writers, today I'm gonna teach you that writers of realistic fiction reread their dialogue, almost acting out those parts, and then revise their dialogue to add in what your character would really say, the tone of voice your character would use. Are they speaking softly? Are they speaking loudly? Are they speaking angrily? And they include specific actions so we can see what your character is really doing. So we're gonna work on we're gonna work on my piece together since you guys know about my story really well. You know that in my story, Jessica has to make this big decision about whether she's gonna listen to Minnie and Gabby and stop being friends with Nikki. Well, this scene where I pulled this dialogue that we're gonna revise is from when Jessica tells Minnie, I'm gonna stay friends with Nikki. She makes this big decision and Minnie reacts with dialogue. So I'm gonna read this to you right now. This is, the, this is the line we're gonna be revising. Minnie looked at Jessica. You're a loser, she said. So writers, we're gonna be revising this, making sure to include what my character really says, the tone of voice, thinking about the tone of voice my character is using, and the specific actions she would be doing. But before we can revise, Remember that writers kind of act out this part. So partner one, you guys are gonna be the actors and actresses. You're gonna be Minnie. And as you're thinking about how you're gonna act being Minnie, think about what's Minnie saying, what's her tone of voice, and what are the specific actions that Minnie's doing. And partner two, you guys are the narrators. You're gonna be using your storytelling voice to say exact, to capture exactly what partner one is doing, okay? Partner one, are you ready to act? 
Partner two, are you ready to narrate? Turn and go. Okay, what can try to make sure are you adding in specific actions? You just did like how you are a little bit. Okay guys, freeze for just one second. Um, actors and narrators, I'm actually noticing that our actors aren't really being expressive. You I want you to remember that you're acting as Minnie and you're thinking about what she's saying. I hear a lot of you doing that, but not just what she's saying, how she's saying it and what are her actions? What's she doing with her body, okay? So try to be really expressive. I'm actually hearing the narrators do a fantastic job capturing what they're saying, but I need you guys to be real actors right now, okay? Turn and talk More to the what specific actions is she using? She has her hands on her hips and she makes a face oh. and, says, and says in a bossy tone, Keep going. Miss Kerrigan, I am so I impressed with the actors in this class. Right now, Ellie, will you come on up for a second? There we go. See we're going to have that. Ellie, we're going to revise this dialogue uh, based on Ellie's enactment. You can stand right next to Catherine. And Ellie is now Minnie. Will you act this piece of dialogue out for us? And writers, I want you paying close attention to Ellie. Why would you even want to be friends with her? You're a loser. Wow, freeze. We're going to rewind that for a second. Oh my goodness. So guys, as we watch uh, Ellie doing this again, I want you to be thinking about how is Minnie looking at Jessica? So as you're watching Ellie do this again, pay close attention to how Minnie is looking at Jessica. Go ahead. Why would you even want to be friends with her? You're a loser. Who thinks they can name? How Minnie is looking at Jessica. Madeline? She's like, Maddie? <laughs> she's sort of like scrunching her eyebrows like. She's scrunching her eyebrows? Um, she's kind of like, she um, did like a loser sign. Okay, I just want to know how is she looking at her? Can we name that? How is she looking at her? Like a mean face. Okay, like a mean face. Is there a word for this? Like she's squinting her eyes. She's squinting her eyes. Her eyes are kind of like staring at um, Jessica. Like so she's like, staring, Minnie is staring at Jessica. What else is Minnie doing? She's like looking down, like up and down, you know, like, while we're like, how would you be a friend if you're like. Okay. So Minnie is staring at Jessica. I actually remember the words that you said. You actually added on to the dialogue, actually. So, so can you say it one more time? And we're going to pay attention to the exact words she's saying. Go ahead. Why would you even want to be friends with her? You're a loser. Why would you even want to be friends with her? You're a loser. I love how you added on more dialogue. Why would you even want to be friends with her? You're a loser. Writers, are you noticing how I'm not just tucking in some words here? I'm actually rewriting this whole scene on my revision paper that I can tape over later. OK, so I'm not just tucking it in. Fantastic. Now, I know what you said, but how did she say it? What's her tone of voice? How is she saying this? Madeline? Kind of like in a cocky voice. In a cocky voice. Excuse me, vocabulary. In like a sassy voice. In a Ooh. sassy voice. She said sassily. Like sort of like a voice like with an attitude. With attitude. Ooh. She said with attitude. Okay, now the last thing we need to look at are what are her specific actions. Miss Actress, one more time. Let's pay close attention to her specific actions so that we can revise our dialogue. Why would you even want to be friends with her? You're a loser. What are her specific actions? Can we name them? 
Nolan? She put the loser sign up. She put uh, the loser sign up? Um, she like, um, kind of popped her knee, kind of. Like she was, and she had her hands on her hip. Okay, she had her hands on her, a hand on her hip and made an L like a loser. She said with attitude, putting a hand on her hip and making a loser sign with her fingers. Ellie, high five. What an actress this girl is. Ellie, my goodness. So writers, I hope you see how we revised the dialogue by almost acting a little bit and then revising the dialogue to think about what our character would say, the tone of voice she said with attitude, and specific actions that she used. Okay, so on our qualities of good narrative writing, the work we'll find today is right up there. Catherine, can you touch where we're gonna be, where we can look to make sure we're including that in our qualities of narrative writing checklist? Writers, when you go off today to start revising your dialogue, I want you to make sure that you're revising at least one scene of dialogue which you already know, you already pointed to that scene today. So you can do that scene today. And you can use your conch shell to act it out and bring it to life to help you revise and picture it in your mind, okay? If you're having trouble, I want you to stay on the rug and I can help you coach in to help you with this work a little bit, okay? So right now, can Manhattan and Brooklyn silently go off to get started on this work? Can my other writer carefully go off and get started on this work? But if you feel like you need a little extra support, please stay on the rug with me so I can support you. Um.